Back in the mid 20th century, Jacques Cousteau invented the first self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, otherwise known as the scuba tank. And ever since then, the way in which we dive hasn't really changed. Of course, the gear we use today is of higher quality, but fundamentally, it's basically the same. And that's because there really hasn't been a need to change the way in which we dive. Which goes with the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, that doesn't mean new innovations aren't being made. In fact, the future of diving might look a lot different than you think. I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where we have our own James Bond Thunderball breather, but you'd be surprised at the new diving tech coming our way. What's going on guys, it's Raymond here, and today we're gonna be going over the future of scuba diving and some of the products that are currently being worked on. Now before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on new videos. Scuba diving is one of my favorite things in the world, and the only thing I like more than that is filming my dives. I'm always so interested to see in what diving could look like in not only the far future, but the near future as well. Today we're going to be starting off with some of the smaller, innovative pieces of scuba gear, and work our way up to some of the coolest products coming out. Starting off, we have a new product called the at most dive watch. A lot of divers out there wear their dive computer as a watch, which tells you your depth, water temp, time of dive, and sometimes even your air. However, this new watch is basically a smart watch, but for diving. The Atmos watch is currently available as we speak, as it just released this year. This watch can do everything your Apple smartwatch can do, which includes health and fitness tracking like heart rate and calories burned. But it also has sophisticated dive operations like telling you about the tides, weather, and all of the essential diving stuff. Moving on, there's a new product called the Scuba Jet Underwater Scooter, which is a DPV. DPVs are becoming wildly popular right now, and this one is waterproof down to 199 feet, so it works great for all recreational diving. It even has a built-in cruise control feature, which works just like the one in your car. No matter the current or direction you're heading, it maintains the same speed. It also has a built-in computer which calculates the current, your weight, and the amount of drag you have into effect. As a bonus, it comes with a built-in 1500 lumen light and is even flight compatible. It does cost a whopping $1,200 as we speak, but it's still a very cool new diving product to release this year. And there's a lot more like it on the way. For our last innovative dive accessory, we have the OTS Full Face Diving Mask. This mask's purpose is for you to be able to communicate and talk underwater. Granted, there are already some diving masks out there like this, but these full face masks are becoming increasingly popular, and companies like this are trying to make it the future of diving. Underwater communication is becoming a big highlight for scuba companies, and this is probably the best mask available right now. It even has a buddy phone communication system that allows for you to talk with your dive buddy. I've always wanted to try one of these masks out because it's such a cool looking product. All right, now that covers our dive accessories part of the video. These products are able to give us a glimpse of what the diving world is heading towards and some of the innovative products already on the market. But now let's move on to the new ways to breathe underwater. Something that's becoming more and more popular are the tankless dive systems, which can already be found online. The most popular of which is the Nomad by the company Blue. If you've ever done snuba, this basically has the same concept. It takes in air from the surface and delivers it down to you. With the Nomad, you're able to dive down to depths of 30 feet, which is pretty crazy. To get all of you out there excited, I'm actually gonna be testing out the Nomad this upcoming spring, which I'm so excited to do, so be on the lookout for that video. This company also has one called the Nemo, which allows for you to dive down to 10 feet at the max. Now let's talk about what I think is the craziest and coolest product in this video, the Avello Dive System. According to the company, this is the future of scuba diving. This product is currently well past its test stages, and they're currently getting closer and closer to rolling this product out for consumers and dive companies. The way you breathe, 
basically works the same as traditional scuba tanks, but the real difference comes in its other aspects. If the Avello dive system continues its course, it will be absolutely revolutionary for the diving industry. It consists of a hydro tank, which is half the weight of a scuba tank while being the same size. It allows for you to have more bottom time as it holds up to 4,500 PSI instead of the traditional 3,000. However, the best part about this product is that it keeps you neutrally buoyant despite whatever depth you're at. That's right, with the Avello dive system, you won't need to use any weights at all. So how does it work? It's actually pretty simple. The diving system becomes lighter or heavier by using water from the environment. Its operating system is just like that of a submarine that adds or removes water to remain neutrally buoyant. The perfect buoyancy lasts about 25 minutes, and after that, all you have to do is restart the buoyancy feature, and you're good to go for another 25. It's pretty easy to use and just incredibly innovative. Having more air while carrying a lighter tank is such a bonus, but the fact that this removes the need for any weights at all is just incredible. The company is slowly getting ready to roll this product out, and they hope that someday this tank will replace the scuba tanks that we all know and love. And lastly on our list is the Orb Dive Helmet, which I have talked about in past videos. This is designed by Thomas Wingship, and it looks like a really cool motorcycle helmet. It is a rebreather, which means there's no need for a tank at all. Bottom time is said to be around two hours or so, give or take. This dive helmet also has built-in lights and even a Bluetooth system for underwater communication. The Orb dive helmet might not ever be released to consumers, but it's currently in its testing stage. This would be even more revolutionary than the Avello dive system, but only time will tell if this actually becomes the future of diving. Alright guys, so make sure to let me know in the comments section down below which product I mentioned in this video is your favorite. But that is going to wrap up today's video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button, and most importantly, subscribe with notifications turned on, so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.